What's up, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Big D from Tennessee, back at it with another reaction video. Yeah. Man, we're going to check out another home free song. It just dropped Friday, man. Born in the USA. Man, I grew up listening to that song by Bruce Springsteen, Born in the USA. And man, it's the I know a lot of people think it's a very patriotic song, but I think Bruce Springsteen had another vi vision behind it. I think it's more criticism to uh, the freedom that we have in this country because when the veterans come back from uh, uh, Vietnam and stuff, a lot, a lot of American people turned their backs on them, man. Not even the American people, the government, all that. And treated them like crap, man. Called them killers, spit on them, throw things at them. Wouldn't give them a job or nothing, man. Just treating them like crap. But anyways, man, I want to thank all the veterans, man. Because I, I love my freedom, man. I know a lot of y'all do, but there's a lot of people in this country, man, hate this country, man. They're born and raised in this country, and they hate it. They hate this American flag. I'm always going to stand up for that flag. And I dare somebody burn one in front of me. But anyways, I don't want to get too much into that because you two kind of, you know, get all kind of frenzy and stuff. They get bit out of shape. But anyways, man, I love this country. I love this flag. I want to thank each and every one. People that served, is serving now. Has it made it back? Thank y'all. I'll pray for the ones that didn't make it back. Man, my hat's off to y'all because I love this country. I love this free. That's why so many people are trying to come to this country because, man, it's one of the greatest countries you ever live in. And it could be a lot better if a lot of people just straighten their act up. But anyways, man, we're going to check out Home Free version. Like I said, I want to thank each and every one of y'all come over last night. And uh, was it last? No, Thursday night and showed love to my first reaction on Home Free, the butts remix man y'all show some crazy mad love on the comments the likes my phone's been going crazy i want to thank each and every one of y'all i hope i i'm going to try to re uh, catch up on some re replying back to some other uh comments i haven't replied to all of them i kind of skipped around a lot but anyways man i appreciate y'all for showing mad love i know y'all dropped several other songs want me to react to but this one just dropped friday I, I wanted to try to react to it because it's a fairly new song. I love this song. I grew up listening to it. I even had the record when I was a kid, man. But anyways, man, enough of me yit yakking over here. I hope y'all can understand what I'm saying because a lot of people say, you're too country, man. We can't understand what you're saying. I mean, I can't talk no plainer, man. I got a lot of metal in my mouth anyways. It's hard for me to say certain words. Uh, but anyways, thank y'all. Thank y'all for the mad love. I love each and every one of y'all. But we're going to get up in this song right here. Home free. Born in the USA. Yes, got to love this country, man. Always will till the day I die. And love that American flag back there. I got four or five of them back there. Got a couple more I got to put up. But anyways, heck yeah. Thank you all to all the veterans out there, ones that served, not serving, when has it made it back. I pray for the ones that didn't make it back. Thank you each and every one of y'all. I'm all the way back to World War One. Thank each and every one of y'all, man. Even to the day, man. I love each one of y'all, man. Let's get it. Got a guitar in this one. Did I say guitar? <laughs> I mean a guitar. So I told you I can't I can't say certain things, man. <laughs> Let's back that up there. I don't want to mess it up. But anyway, heck yeah. Born down in a dead man's town. The first kick I took was when I hit the ground. You end up like a dog that's been beat too much till you spent half your life just to cover it up now. Born in the USA, I was born in the USA, I was Man, I guess God just put a bunch of angels together and put these guys right here together, man, because I'm telling you, man, their voices, man, just runs chills up your back. And I love their version of it, man. I really do. I love their version of it. And I know Bruce Springsteen, man, he's screaming in the mic and wearing that guitar out. But, you know, it gets you all pumped up. But I love their version of it, man. And and I wish I knew the meaning behind this song. I grew, Like I said, I grew up listening to it all my life. I just never really listened to the words to it. And uh, I, I hope I can try to explain it the best as I can. I mean, I, I could be wrong. I'm sure a lot of y'all going to uh, let me know in the comments. But anyways... Home free, man. Born in the USA. And I whoever got these guys together, man, my hat's off to y'all, man. Cause they are a hell of a damn singer. I was born in the USA. I was born in the USA. Born in the USA. I 
don't think that's what Bruce Springsteen said. I think he said, went to go kill a, I ain't going to say it, but they said fellow. I think they said fellow man. I, I, I think that's what they said, but I think Bruce Springsteen, Bruce Springsteen said something else. I'm not going to say it on YouTube, but anyways, they went to uh, say go kill a fellow man. But anyway, man, apparently got in a little pickle, maybe in his little hometown, got in some trouble. Hey, you going to do some time in jail, or you can go over and fight this war. So here's a gun. Go fight the war. Go to this third uh, third country, you know, and, and fight in the Cre uh, not Korean War, but uh, the Vietnam War and stuff. Then uh, uh, come, and he said he went over to fight to kill they said fellow man, but I think Bruce Springsteen said something else. I'm not going to say it. I'm sure y'all know what I'm talking about. But anyways, man, I love their voice, man. And it's funny when you sit down and do these reactions, man, you're like, man, I didn't even know they said that. I didn't know they said this. I don't even know what this means. You know, it makes you wonder because you, you listen to a song, you get all up in the beat and all that, and you jam it out to it, but you're not really paying attention to what they're saying. But anyways, I love it, man. I love it. I love their version of it. Let's get it. Go and kill the That's right, baby. Born in the USA. I was born in the USA. Born in the USA. Come back home to the refinery. How the man says, son, if it was up to me. Went down to see my VA man. He said, son, don't you understand? Don't you understand? See, that's the part like that, like I don't quite understand. Do you have a brother went to uh, uh, to fight the war and stuff? And I guess, did he marry a woman over there and he fell in love with her? But, you know, is his mind still not, still over in the war? Because, you know, a lot of people come back messed up, man. They just, I mean, they they didn't know. I mean, I, I don't really got a word for it. But anyways, they come back messed up. I just wonder if he's, or maybe come back wounded or something. And she's having to take care of him. Maybe he met a woman over there. But his mind is still like he's in the war and he's not all with it. Uh, I don't. I, I part. I, I don't quite understand. Uh, I wish I did. Uh, well, I can explain it a little bit more. But maybe he fell in love with a woman over there because they said you know a lot of a lot of men went over and fought the war. They met a lot of women over there, and love kind of overrid the war, man. Because uh, a lot of them, I, I guess some of them didn't come back, or maybe they brought their wives or brought their woman back, and married them, and all that. But. Uh, but I'm sure a lot of them messed up and the woman's having to take care of them and stuff because, man, it, they say it was a, a brutal, brutal war, man. And a lot of people got killed and a lot of people come back, man, they didn't have jobs. The American people treated them like shit, spit on them, called them everything, throw things at them. I can only imagine what they said to them when they come back. It ain't nothing like today getting uh, greeted coming back because they, when they come back, they got treated like shit back in, what, 73 when they come back, when a lot of them come back. A lot of them got it, like 40% of them like came homeless because they wouldn't charge for them. Wasn't nothing for them to do. They didn't have no insurance. I guess the government pretty much pretty much shit on them. I mean, here you go fight this war and, you know, come back and we'll figure out something when you get back. But anyways, uh, uh, a lot of them got into crime and all that. Man, that's crazy. But anyways, y'all let me know in the comment what they exactly mean in this part right here. Because uh, I, I don't know if he stayed over there. Maybe he came back and his mind's still over like he's still fighting the war. And she's having to take care of him now. I'm not really sure, but I think he fell in love with a woman over. That's my. That's how I'm kind of taking it. But anyway, let's get back at it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Got a picture of him in the wrong style. Born in the USA. Oh no. Born in the USA. Down in the shadow of the penitentiary, out by the gas fires of the refinery. Mm. Now. I'm Ten years burning down that road, nowhere to run. Man, he's got a hell of a boy. Well, they got homeless on there instead of home free. They got homeless. Like I said, man, a lot of them come back homeless because they wouldn't jobs for them. They didn't have nowhere to go. They turned to crime. Nobody would help them. Nobody wouldn't give them a job. They treated them like shit. They called them killers, spit on them, throw things at them. I mean, they got disrespect, man. I mean, they got treated like crap, and that's sad, man. That's sad. 
And that was before my time, but anyways, man, uh, my hat's off to them guys, man. And uh, just hang in there, man, because I know, I know it's tough, and I'm sure it's hard on each and every one of y'all, man, because I, I know a lot of people have talked about it, and they've seen a lot of stuff, man. I think I've seen a lot of stuff in my life, but it ain't nothing to what they've seen over there. And the average age people fighting in that war, man, was like 19, just right out of high school. A lot of them didn't even know why they was even over even fighting. They just handed the gun, here, go fight. And, and man, that's, that's crazy, man. It is very crazy. You over fighting for something you don't know what you're fighting at the time because you, you're, so, you're so young, just right out of high school. And I, I can see why it messed a lot of people up, man. But it's, it's sad that the country turned their backs on like that. Very sad. Ten years burning down that road. Nowhere to run. Nowhere to go. Born in the USA. Born in the, in the USA. USA. That's what I'm talking about right there, man. Heck yeah, I love it, man. I love home free, born in the USA. I love this country, man. I love this flag in behind me. I love all my flags, man. Shoot, yeah, man. I just hate because a lot of people try to shit on this flag, man. Shit on this country that was born in this country, man. I just they just gonna have to get their head up out of their ass or something, man. Because this is one of the greatest countries. It can be a lot better if they just pull their head out of their ass. But anyway, man, I love this version. By, uh, by Home Free, man, born in the USA. Like I said, I grew up listening to uh, Bruce Springsteen's version of it, and he gets you all pumped up because a lot of people play it during Fourth of July because a lot of people think it's a very patriotic song. I just don't know what the true meaning is behind the song is, but I think Bruce Springsteen, like I said, he, he done it to criticism on the freedom on this country that we got and stuff because the way the people treated our vets when they come back from the Vietnam War, man. Like I said, they treated them like crap, man. They didn't want to give them a job with no jobs for them. A lot of them got homeless. A lot of them got into crime. I heard them say something about prison. I guess they were standing by the finery around the, I guess around the fire and stuff. And some went to prison when they come back because they wouldn't know where for them to go, man. Wouldn't the, nobody done anything for them but treat them like shit. And like I said, a lot of them was over fighting from don't even know what they was fighting for. And even today, a lot of people don't know why they was over fighting for. But anyways, man, I don't know. It's before my time. But my hat's off to them guys, man. Love each and every one of y'all. Love all the new subscribers I got, man. Thank y'all again, man. Thank y'all for all the sweet comments. Y'all been showing some daggum crazy love, man. Y'all been showing some daggum USA love, that's for sure. But anyways, man, thank y'all, man. I hope y'all uh, enjoy this reaction. Smash that like button, drop a comment, share it, do whatever. I don't care because Big D, we, we cool with everybody, man. I love it, each and every one of y'all. I, I don't want to make this no longer than it has to be. Thank each and every one of y'all, man. I want to ease on out here. God bless each and every one of y'all. Uh, till next time, Big D from Tennessee saying peace out.